The Wellness Initiative was started in fall 2016, and it was envisioned by Dean Melody Racine as a way to bring all the wellness offerings that were currently in place in the School of Music, Theatre and Dance under one big umbrella. The wellness program offers both educational services as well as on-site programs and services that are geared towards injury prevention and recovery. Our students, whether they be actors, dancers, or musicians, are also really called upon to do incredible physical feats, whether that's, you know, convincing sword fight on a stage with a 50-pound broadsword, whether it's a sort of endless spin in a dance floor, or whether it's a pianist, you know, doing these sort of incredible Listian virtuoso feats. To rehearse and practice that for hours and hours of day reveals any kind of mechanical issues that a performer has. And so although we think of them as creatives, they're also bodies in motion and they're athletes and we need to treat them like athletes. As a percussion major, we tend to use our hands and our arms very frequently. We really are striking a lot of instruments and we're really using a lot of muscle groups. After a long period of time, it develops into something that tends to hurt and affects my playing. So having a specialist come to the School of Music uh, was very helpful. I told him exactly where I felt pain, what I was doing which caused it, and what I realized was it might be feeling it in my forearms, but it's really coming all the way into my back. Everything up to my posture, and they told me exactly how to fix it. It's uh, kind of been a life-changing, it was a life-changing experience. When that piece of you is not what it was, what it can do to the spirit and the soul is phenomenal. I mean, it's, it's so strong. And at a competitive institution like this, if something gives way, how do we help them cope and how can we be preventative? Dance students, theater students, and musical theater students can be really vulnerable in terms of injuries. Part of the assessments that we have been doing with Medsport and Neurosport are to really look at the body and figure out where are their imbalances. Uh, so these are really personalized as well and really taking into consideration that every body is different and has different strengths and different weaknesses. So we're able to capture that right off the bat with all of the incoming students in dance theater and musical theater, and that really gives us the foundation to support each and every one of these students. I think being a performing artist can bring up so many complexities and thinking about how, how it impacts our emotional health, perfectionism or competition with our peers. It's so deeply rooted into how we see ourselves as people that when something gets challenged or we fail at an audition or we don't perform as well as we wanted to, I think that it hits a lot harder. Well, it was really, really helpful to go see Emily, and so it's really easy to just have someone who's readily available for me and is already in the building that I'm constantly spending most of my time in anyways. She'll listen to you and she'll let you vent, but then she'll also give you advice on how to deal with the stuff you're going through and not only deal with it short term, but long term, which is really important. Them knowing she's in the building and they can reach out whenever they need to and she's going to respond to them. I think it's just, it's a level of comfort and I do think the normalization of counseling has been really good for our students and for them to be okay with not being okay. That can be really helpful for talking about the things that are concerning us at a smaller level so that it doesn't have to reach a bigger level. We can think about that in terms of a preventative care that we use a lot through physical health and really translating that into mental health as well. We really want to create an environment here at SMTD that students feel supported and they know that we care and we want them to be successful in the long run. So it's really, really important for us that we address wellness in kind of a holistic manner as soon as possible, as soon as they come through the door as freshmen. That's why we're here. It's for the students. And I feel as though they're the heartbeat of the school. And just like we take care of our heart and every other part of our being, it's our obligation as educators and administrators to take care of that precious heartbeat that's our students. To me, this initiative is, is seeing to that. On Giving Blue Day, please give to the School of Music, Theater, and Dance.